Today we are going to discuss a capillary rise method. Whenever a cupid is strong, inside in liquid or a cold drinks, you might be observed wing that the level of the liquid inside the straw is raised a little bit. And that is because of surface tension, you all know about that. But how this capillary rise method is acting, I will teach you today in a simple and detailed manner so that you can understand and solve any problem regarding capillary rise method. So let us go ahead now. So this is the liquid which is present in the beaker and uh, let us imagine whenever you keep a small straw or a capillary tube which is having a very very small hole, the level of the liquid inside the capillary tube is going to rise a little bit like this. Now, why it is going to rise like that, how much surface tension is acting on that, we shall now find out in a very easy manner. You all know that tension is always acting tangentially. So when tension is acting tangentially, this is going to be tension T, this is going to be tension T. It is making angle theta with the wall of the capillary tube. Then in this direction, T cos theta is working. In this direction, T cos theta is working. In this direction, T sin theta. In this direction, T sin theta is going to work. These two are equal and opposite, so they are going to get cancelled. Then the compound of the tension which is trying to raise the level of the liquid is only T cos theta. Then let us see what is going to happen here. So uh, here, uh, you know that this is going to be the volume of the liquid just below the meniscus and this is going to be the volume of the liquid which is below the meniscus if you imagine to be one more cylinder the formula for this volume is uh, for example this is the height of the cylinder then you can take the formula as pi r square h which is said to be the volume of the cylinder just below the meniscus but what is the volume of the liquid just below the meniscus here because meniscus is just like a hemispherical boil then now, to find out this volume which is just below the meniscus, you just uh, have to subtract uh, this cylinder's volume uh, with meniscus. The cylinder should be, uh, uh, meniscus should be removed from the cylinder, we can say. So, uh, what is the volume of a cylinder, this cylinder? You all note that the height of the cylinder is going to be the radius. And you know, radius is going to be R. Here, height is also going to be equal to radius. So, what is the height of this cylinder? So, in this volume of a cylinder, minus volume of a hemisphere, you have to consider. So how are you going to find out the volume of a cylinder? So V1 can be considered as volume of a cylinder just below the meniscus is considered as pi r square h and volume of the hemisphere which should be removed so that we can get the volume of the liquid just below the meniscus. Uh, for that you have to do is minus 2 by 3 pi r cube which is going to be the volume of a hemisphere here. So this is going to be the volume of a hemisphere. Then if you, you should know that height and radius are going to be same for this cylinder. Therefore V1 can be considered as pi r square into r minus 2 by 3 pi r cube which is nothing but pi r cube minus 2 by 3 pi r cube which is v1 which can be considered as 1 by 3 pi r cube. So we know the volume v1 which is 1 by 3 pi r cube and we also know the volume v2 which is just below the meniscus this cylinder having volume pi r square h. Now let us take a free body diagram of the water which is inside the meniscus and let us see how many forces are acting on that separately. You all know that force due to gravity which is going to be mass into gravity is acting downwards. Force due to tension which is taken as tension into length is acting upwards. The reason for this you know that tension is nothing but force for unit length. Tension is nothing but force for unit length here. So here force can be taken as tension into length. That's it. So you have to make these two forces act, acting in the equal and opposite direction so that the level of the equity is in the equilibrium position. Let us see what is going to happen. This is force due to gravity, force due to tension. Both are equal and opposite direction. Force due to gravity is considered as mass into gravity. Force due to tension is taken as tension into length. Here mass is nothing but volume into density to gravity. Tension means you have to take only that component which is trying to raise the level of the liquid to certain heights. That is considered to be T cos theta and the length of the uh, length is nothing but the circumference of the hemisphere. This which is taken as 2 by R. Therefore length is considered to be 2 by R here. Volume means you have to find out the total volume of this liquid and the total volume is considered to be V1 plus V2 uh, or V2 plus V1 whatever it may be. So what is V2 here? Pi R square H plus what is V1? We have to uh, find out this hemisphere should be removed uh, that is v2 we are getting as 1 by 3 pi r cube so v1 plus v2 v2 is this one v1 is this one therefore the total volume we are getting is if you common out pi r square we will be getting h plus r by 3 common so we got the formula for total volume which is below the meniscus which is considered as pi r square h plus r by 3 that's it now you have to consider this as a total volume substitute this formula here then you'll be getting as pi r square h plus r by 3 rho g which is nothing but t cos theta into 2 pi r that's it then what are the things which are going to be cancelled here this pi pi is going to be cancelled and what else is going to be cancelled uh, you can take r and r square getting cancelled you want to find out the tension tension is nothing but r into h plus 
r by 3 rho g divided by 2 cos theta. So this is the formula here. Then if you want to find out the formula for tension, uh, you can neglect r by 3 because if you consider r to be much, much, much less than height. So this height is much more than the radius of a capillary tube. Capillary tube means it is a small tube having a small hole in which even a needle also very difficult it may enter inside. That's it. It's a, such a small hole we can say. So therefore, if r is much, much, much less than h, then how much will be the r by 3? You can neglect that one. So you can neglect this r by 3. Therefore, you'll be getting how much? Uh, here, if you uh, neglect this r by 3, you'll be getting tension is nothing but h r rho g by 2 cos theta. So this is the formula for tension. For, for water, theta is considered to be 0 degrees. Therefore, cos 0 is nothing but 1. So tension, surface tension acting on the water, if the water is present in the beaker, then it can be as h r rho g by 2. That's it. This is the formula for tension. Uh, this is a very simple explanation. I uh, hope you have understood. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.